inoculating with microbes, specifically when growing cocoa and using synthetic nutrients. Now, there are some people that say it's beneficial. They've seen a benefit inoculating with microbes, utilizing microbes during their grow. There are other people that say this is completely false. You should not be inoculating with microbes because the medium's inert. The nutrients are already in a form that's available for the plant to uptake. So the microbes don't have any value. What's your take on that? Uh, You know, I certainly think they have less value than they do in other styles of fertilization. Um, But regardless of style of fertilization, there are some microbial activity that works in the synergy in in the rhizosphere. So in, in the roots that aid in nutrient uptake, um, even in a a cocoa grow, even in a DWC grow, uh, even in a DWC grow that's running sterile, um, you know, with like a high concentration of hydrogen peroxide, um, there are still symbiotic relationships with bacteria in the roots. So there are like every style of growing sort of requires some bacteria. In some styles, we need to maintain that better. And, um, you know, I think organic growers that are depending on sort of breaking down organic fertilizers um, into sort of plant accessible forms can really get a huge boost from sort of inoculating with some bacteria or inoculating with different microorganisms at, at the right time of their grow. Um, and, you know, treating that. One of the challenges with any kind of synthetic drain to waste system in particular is, you know, the whole idea of drain to waste is we're getting rid of some things. We're sort of flushing a little bit out each watering event. um, And it makes it somewhat harder to to maintain uh you know microbial communities we're also not necessarily feeding them anything so you know in organic nutrients growers sometimes use stuff like for example a fairly famous one is molasses um which is really used primarily to feed you know microbes that then feed the plant it's not necessarily used to feed the plant directly um and, and you know, if you're not using those things, it becomes a little bit sort of less beneficial. Um, but there are still times and places for that. I don't do a, a great deal of inoculation, um, but I'm aware of that. I kind of lean towards the side where we are able to take control of a lot of the fertilization and sort of, you know, a, a lot of what the plant's able to absorb and, and uptake. Um, I guess the downside would be wasting money and resources using a product that you're not sort of getting a, a benefit from. Um, but I, I don't think that there's a, a downside in terms of, you know, doing that is going to screw up your plant or is necessarily going to cause problems either. Um, so I like to, I always like to separate practices, grower practice, because there's all sorts of different grower practices out there into things that are, you know, beneficial, harmful, and then probably not either, um, you know, beneficial or harmful practices. And I, I would put a lot of the ways synthetic growers use microbes as probably not beneficial or harmful. Um, at least in the root zones like that, it, it, it's, it's tough. Um, I, mean, I suppose on the other side of this is that is one of the reasons why we're growing this style, um, why we're investing in, in those nitrogen fertilizers, for example, at this scale. I think that it makes sense. But we're, we're like I said at the top of the podcast, we get those nitrogen fertilizers from natural gas and in a really energy intensive process in order to sort of separate the nitrogen from the, the uh, hydrocarbons. Um, and I, I, you know, at the scale that we're growing and considering these other things, I, I, I tend to think that that makes it worth it. And that does sort of uh, alleviate the need to practice deep ecology within our gardens. Um, I still like taking that ecological approach where it makes sense to, 
And where it makes sense too at that point is more in sort of the IPM side, on the pesticide side, on the you know beneficial insects and in that ecological approach in terms of working with biology to solve our problems as opposed to sort of trying to be God. Um, but I, I'll admit there's a certain aspect of my style of growing where I'm trying to sort of be God in this situation. I figure I have to create the sun for these plants. So uh, I'm going to try to sort of hand feed them everything else as well. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.